Hopus Adimma on the run as ESN ready to do this in Imo State. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite Channel slash television this very wonderful moment. Right now we have a breaking news for every one of us. As this news reaching our news desk this very moment, has it that after the live broadcast of our indomitable leader Mazin Namde Kano on 13th of February 2021, he has warned Hope Zodema with his Nigeria Janjaweed army to desist from the evil that they have plotted already in our law to be precise. As they have raided the house of one clergyman, one rabbi, and destroyed his church, thereby arresting him and his entire household Mazinam de Kano has warned them to make sure nothing happens to the rabbi and for him to be released with immediate effect and he then told them that he is going to start with Imo State that when he's done with Nigeria he's going to hand himself over to the International Criminal Court ICC yes yeah, that is the word of Mazinam de Kano and as we are speaking right now since yesterday our law has been under siege if you are following this very channel very very properly you will understand yesterday we posted a video that shows how our law has been militarized both the their fighter jets, mammoth tankers, military personnel, all of them, they are in our law as we are speaking. Many of them are disguising themselves as normal individuals, roaming around our law, the whole street of our law, they are there. And I'm telling you, the Janjaweed military, these are the Boko Haram members that they integrated to Nigeria army by Tukuru Boko Haram Buratai. This is what is happening right now in our law and I'm giving you the information live and direct. Anybody can doubt it but this is reality. The video is there for you to watch. Check it on our platform. The things which is happening in our law as we are speaking. Everywhere is highly militarized. So Pohopo Zodema is very very conscious because ESN is going to move in as quick as possible. Mazin Amdekan is coming on air today to give instructions and directives. He is going to give Hopu Zodema the last warning today and ESN will carry out their job very, very soon and as usual. We are going to carry our job as usual because we are not going to allow the terrorists in army uniform to continue terrorizing our land. That is the reason why ESN is moving in with force to make sure that we combat these very terrorists in army uniform and police uniform coming from Sahel to maim and rape our women. Yes, you know some people they thought we are joking but you are going to hear this cause because we can no longer fold our hands. Peaceful protest has failed in Nigeria. The one that happened last at Lekito Gate has proven us right. Peaceful protest has failed woefully in Nigeria because the people in power, the Janjaweed, do not understand what the meaning of peace or should I say peaceful protest. What they understand is force. You cannot fight fire with firewood. Yes, because once you put firewood in the fire, it will consume it automatically. Let me speak it in Igbo language. That is the truth. So if you want to fight force in Nigeria, you have to be, you have to use force to fight force. Yes, you can argue that uh, two wrong does not make good, but we don't want to be good this time around. We are going for what we believe in and a lot of people have died. So we can no longer continue dying. We have to take it by force. Even the, the biggest, the biggest freedom fighters, they did, they, they, they used arms. Yeah, check the history of, uh, of, uh, of American freedom fighters. Check the history of South Africa, Nelson Mandela. Check their history. They, at, a, at a time, they resorted to armed struggle. And that is where we are heading to. Because if we continue being peaceful, these people will kill us all. And nobody will be alive 
to gain that freedom at last. So it's better we fight at once. I'm encouraging the people of Olu and other environs in Biafra land to be courageous and be ready for what is here to come. We are going to take the bull by its horn. We are not going to continue living in the past, being afraid of losing the war in 1970. Why these people use that opportunity to, to, to ravage our land? It's no longer going to happen. We are taking the bull by a turn, like I said before, this time around is not going to be the same. You must be courageous. This very freedom is tantamount to any other thing that we desire in our lives. Without freedom, we will be enslaved forever and ever, including our generation to come. That is it, and we are not going to allow that to happen. We will fight. We are going to fight. So everybody must be ready to combat this very evil.